Were you investigating her? No. Di told me. In a letter. It was meant for me in case her past caught up with her. It did. So this wasn't just some noble confession. You got caught. And you didn't have any choice except to come clean. No, it's nothing about me as noble. I know that. Oh, my God. The lies, one after the other. It started out as a lie, but it didn't end up that way. I fell in love. That wasn't play acting. That was me. Learning to love for the first time, to love you. I love all of you. I, did, I wanted to do what only Dixie could do. I wanted to make peace between JR and Jamie. I wanted little Ethan, who knew he, he hung the sun and the moon. I wanted to do that for all of us. And it was, it was working. Every day I felt more like Dixie. I, I felt like I was doing what Dixie would, would have been doing. I wish I were Dixie. I wish. Oh. Dixie was the sweetest soul on earth. Now she's an angel in you heaven. Couldn't go someplace else to hide from the crime boss. I mean, go to the cops, turn state's evidence. You had to come here and lure Tad and my son into your fantasy. Yeah, you gave Tad his life back again, and then you yanked it away just and as fast. You, you call me Uncle Palmer. You looked in my eyes, and you made us believe that our prayers had been answered. Yeah, you regret that. I can blow this story sky high, and don't think I won't. Pain, humiliation. Too good for you. You're a Too fraud. Good. You're a genocide. Uh, is what you are. Stop! Stop. Just leave her alone. You can't talk to her that way. To whom, Jr.? Listen to her. Some aunt you never knew, you never needed to know? She doesn't deserve you. She doesn't deserve this family. She played us for fools. She didn't come here after your wallet or a place to crash. She came here after a piece of your heart. A place that's reserved for Dixie, and only Dixie. I just don't know her. You don't know nothing about her. They are, please. Please. The necklace. You knew about the star necklace. And, and little Adam's song you sang to him. You knew our song. And my mother's eyes. I know those eyes. She's family, J.R., but she and your mom are not the same. Go on, kid me. All those things you knew. Dev was right. You know, you're just, you're just stressed out. You just think there's too much danger here, but you're safe here. I'm going to tell you that you're safe here because I'll take care of you. You're my Please mother. Please stop. I can't say it again, hurt you again. Oh, mom, tell them that you made it all up. Sweetheart. J.R., son, you got to listen to He's the truth. He's not your son. Come on, J.R., let's get out of here. Oh, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! All of you! I don't believe it. I don't know any of you. beginner, but generally pick things up pretty quickly. <laughs> Most things, anyway. <laughs> is this helping you get over Di Henry's latest ambush? Nope. Music is my life. Dad, yeah, come on. I know you're in pain. No, I'm not. Look, earplug. Oh, <laughs> yep, I'm here till Wednesday. Remember to tip your waiters and stay away from the view. Stop it. Stop it? What do you mean, stop it? This is how I'm dealing with it, you know? These are the jokes. Listen to me. You know, if I'm going to come over here to talk to you and lift my eardrum, and lift my eardrum, I mean it. I don't. I mean it. I am not kidding. Well, you definitely got my attention. I want to talk with you, not at you. You know, there's, uh, there's the subject of Di Henry and your life since her big reveal, and J.R. and Jamie's life, and your ravaged heart. My ravaged heart? Sounds like a great title for my first album. Oh, all right, whatever. 
You're actually the perfect person for me to talk to. Because with the whole editing thing, you might want to put on your thinking cap and give me some ideas for this whole online editing thing I'm composing. I thought we were making some progress. You know, seriously. Anywhere from here is up. So, check it out. Sophisticated experience, shut up. A self-employed male lives alone in love nests with wicked sense of humor. Seeks independent woman unencumbered by aliases, preferably not back from the dead. Been giving this a lot of thought. Oh, yeah. So, you want to help me punch it up? You don't need me. Are you kidding? My approval rating with your sex is at an all-time low. Hence, the drums. I understand drummers are really sexy, like me, Tommy Lee, you, Pamela. <laughs> oh, behave. We can make our own video. You know what? Get yourself together. <laughs> you animal, or I will hurt you. You're not supposed to hurt me. You're supposed to heal me by giving me the benefit of all your love and patience and wisdom. You know what? You're impossible. No, right now I'm entirely impossible. Yeah, I'm going to come back on a day when you're more manageable. You can always try to tame me, baby. Ah, yeah, but then I'd have to go into training first. Oh, sorry. Maybe not. <laughs>